Hey guys, Spotlight Sunday. Today I wanted to show you something that Paige has been working on. My mom got her a larger loom and, um, and then gave her a whole bunch of new loops to go with it. So we sell these on our Etsy store. However, we are not very good at making intricate patterns, fun patterns yet. So I wanted to point you to a different store. Now this is my friend Melanie and her family. They live here local to us and they also have a YouTube channel. It's called The Road to the Farm, not The Road to the Farm. <laughs> and they have an Etsy store where her sons are making these and they have these gorgeous, gorgeous patterns on them. And also her son is going to be at least at this point, we're kind of in the beginning stages of hoping that he will be willing and able to do the illustrations for my ebook. So he will most likely soon, because he is doing them by hand, they're, they're beautiful pictures, but it does take him some time. They're trying to get his art up on their Etsy channel as well for them to be able to sell. And another person that I wanted to highlight today that's in the Etsy store kind of uh, classification is Border Wind Farms. And um, she has Angora rabbits. And speaking of Angora, I think I just got some up my nose. Um, she has Angora rabbits. And she spins lovely, lovely yarn out of her fiber from her rabbits. And I've actually purchased some of it. I was concerned about um, some, some specifications on a project that I was working on. And so I ordered it from her after I had made my own because I wanted to compare the two and see um, if there was a difference between them. And so go check her out. She is doing a, a GoFundMe uh, fundraiser to try and get a roof over her Angora rabbits and to take care of getting a greenhouse up for early spring plantings. I believe she's going to try and be growing herbs. So those are two favorite channels of mine that also have Etsy stores, so go check them out. And thank you so much for checking our Etsy store out. And yes, we do have hot pod holders, but if you want super, super ritzy looking ones, go over to Melanie's store. And I will put both of their channels in the links up. Make sure to put your cursor up. You'll see the little eye. If you put your cursor up over the eye, it will drop down and you'll be able to see their channel. So go check out Road to the Farm and also Border Wind Farms, or it could be Border Wind Homesteads. I'll, anyway, the link will be there. And make sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we really appreciate you being here. And if you can think of anybody that I should do a spotlight on or you would like me to do a spotlight on you, make sure to contact me. The only thing that I ask is that you have a few videos up already. And um, I, I will say that you get your best bang for your buck if you already have quite a few videos for people to be looking through when they come to your site because I only do a spotlight once and you want to make sure you get your that when people come they actually see a really good overview of what you have to offer and also that they see that you you update regularly because once someone has subscribed YouTube does this, does this all the time and it drives me crazy they YouTube will actually go and unsubscribe you from channels they I don't know if it's because they think you have too many subscribers or if somebody doesn't have enough activity they they just dump them from your feed and so in order to show people that are coming from my channel and have them continue to see you, you have to be making regular content. And if you're not making regular content, you'll disappear from their feed. And so that would be my big advice is if you're not making regular content, wait and contact me until you are making regular content so that you can have a good audience. So we'll talk to you later.